Leopard Tango is a, uh, it's a love story about a dead-end relationship between uh, an attorney named Frank Robinson, who's uh, an ambulance chasing attorney, and a call girl uh, named Sheba. Uh, I see it as a story about uh, attraction without love and played out against the backdrop of the 1990s when uh, money was beginning to reign supreme and the acquisition of wealth and fame were the two values that were creeping into our culture. Do you have a favorite piece in this book? On, on the theme of uh, attraction without love, I like uh, Frank Robinson's definition of love, so maybe I'll read a few lines from that. These inclinations have far more to do with the pull of magnetic north than morality. All attraction and repulsion. The laws that govern us are far more impersonal and terrifying than we dare admit. The clearest proof of this is what is called love. Two complementary voids or fields of emptiness. Ions and protons matching each other negative to positive. If the love is perfect, there's mutual extinguishment and we call the phenomenon death. When in fact, it's nothing more than a form of chemical reaction. Why is that your favorite piece? I think it perfectly reflects what Frank is. He sees interactions between humans as a kinetic grid where people just collide. And so that's why I think his view is worth looking at because he sees the world without emotion and uh, without sentiment. And at times that can be amusing as well. Is that also your view on love? As a matter of fact, it isn't. <laughs> I think that uh, uh, I remain a, a complete and naive optimist as far as life goes and I think the Maybe the trick is to be downwardly socially mobile, and it's, uh, I see human relations as organic. I see them in the details, in the small things. So no, I'm not Frank Robinson. Not as far as my ideology or my beliefs go anyways. Yeah. There's definitely uh, an autobiographical aspect in that um, uh, I've seen the extreme limits of human behavior that can go on in these places and uh, so I would say that I have a, a lot of on the ground contact with that and also with the streets of Paris. I don't think you can write this kind of a book unless you, unless you know the terrain. I'm really hoping that uh, Dutch readers and Amstelveen readers can relate to this story. I think it concerns us all. and. Uh, I first of all hope they like the story of, of this dead-end relationship and I also hope that they find something familiar in, uh, uh, in a story which revolves against the backdrop of what we've all become as, as we all cast aside uh, the essential. Uh, love and decency and things like this and and just go after the cash and conveniency uh, convenience of uh, which uh, reflect Frank Robinson's philosophy uh, hopefully they'll find something in this story that will uh, will tweak them <laughs>